Okay, so just a review, the last lesson that you had was on gesture drawing, and you were supposed to select an object for your house and do two gesture drawings. And so just a reminder, gesture drawing is loose, scribbly, it's fast, it should only take you like up to two minutes. Uh, you should use the movement of your whole arm. And then darker areas, you should have had more overlapping lines, lighter areas, thinner, lighter, less overlapping lines. So now we're gonna look at contour drawing. And so contour drawing, is um, somewhat similar to gesture drawing in that you're using one continuous line to draw the form, um, only now it's going to be very, very slow. And so you want to draw a line around the outer edge of an object uh, and also have lines that go into the very um, kind of like fine details of an object. Uh, that help to describe the form. And so the continuous line is meant to track kind of your eye hand movement. And so where your eye goes is where your hand should go and make a line. It should be very slow, very detailed drawing. Uh, and light areas, you can use an H pencil or you can use one of your B pencils and just not press as hard. For dark areas, you can press harder. You can make the line weight thicker and that's how you can help to create value. And so now I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a contour line drawing, and then you are going to do your own contour line drawing with an object of your own. Uh, select something that has um, some good detail to it uh, that will take you about, a th about 30 minutes to draw um, in this line style. So you wanna make sure that you're set up to kind of sustain working for 30 whole minutes. Okay, so I selected just a simple, um, like a little teapot um, to draw for this. And so I am using my 6B pencil. Um, and so the reason I use the 6B is that because with very light pressure, you can get a nice light thin line for lighter, smaller, less um, important details, outlining reflections, things like that. If I press harder, I can get a thick line. I can also use the pencil a little bit on my side to get a thicker line. Uh, the other ways that you can get thicker lines are is by going back and kind of building on a line. Um, to make it wider and thicker as well. So different ways that you can control line weight to create value, light versus dark values. Okay, and then the rest is all about observation and time and concentration and really working on your eye-hand coordination. And so I'm gonna start at a spot that has like a lot of detail in it um, and a lot of contrast that I'm gonna be able to see. And basically as I am studying it with my eyes, I'm just kind of drawing the map that my eye is going. Uh, now you want to make it sure you want to make sure that you're using one continuous line so you do not want to stop and pick up your pencil unless you get like in some like really weird cramped position and you just need to rotate um, you know rotate your uh, wrist to make it more comfortable but otherwise your hand should not lift off of the paper okay and you should continue to draw so if you find that like oh no I made a mistake uh, try not to worry too much you can always go back on the line and kind of fix it so you're not going to use your eraser to fix anything that's really really important um, but you can kind of go back on a line to fix it uh, and so I did that already with some of the edges on this like you know the little handle on the lid of my teapot and so some of the things I'm looking at is I have this like metallic band and so I am going in and kind of outlining some reflections. Um, I'm outlining kind of the edge of the highlight over here versus kind of the edge of the mid-tone versus the edge of the shadows. Um, this side, the line weight is going to be thicker because it's on the opposite side of where the light source is hitting um, the form. And so I am just kind of carefully going around and just uh, just kind of adding all this observable details. And so it's going to take me you know, at least 30 minutes to kind of get uh, this form drawn. And that's what you should plan on doing is kind of setting um, a timer for 30 minutes with your goal being that you get the whole form drawn in in 30 minutes. So rather than making you sit here and watch a 30 minute video, I'm now going to put on the time lapse feature um, of my uh, camera and I'm going to go ahead and just continue drawing and, uh, you know, you'll see kind of a sped up version. Uh, with some voiceover at this point. 
Okay, and so I'm just going to continue to work all around the entire teapot, just working from one detail to the next. You'll see that I do go back on my line to make some of the lines thicker. I also go back on my line to get to other areas that I haven't drawn yet. Uh, the view that I'm drawing, the perspective that I'm drawing is a little different than the photo that I have up in the corner of the video. But I'm really looking at how the different ellipses kind of interact with each other. I'm looking at the different reflections and the shadows on each part as I draw it. And so rather than working on like the whole form at once, I'm working on tiny little details as I go. One continuous line going back on the line to make it thicker, going back on the line to fix it, going back on the line to add more detail in places or to adjust things. So those are kind of the tips that I have for you. And just to kind of trust the process, trust your eyes, really look and study the object, look at the object more than you look at your drawing, and really look for all the little details that you can capture. And set a timer for yourself, set a timer for 30 minutes, see how far you get. Um, um, pick an object that you're comfortable drawing, but that has enough detail that it's going to challenge you and be appropriate for this process. You don't have to pick something super detailed. You don't have to, I didn't have to go in and do all of this flower print on this teapot if I didn't want to. I could just focus on just the teapot form itself and that would have been enough. Um, so just, you know, keep in mind, you can pick simpler objects and that's okay. Uh, but uh, your goal is to use one continuous line that follows your eye-hand coordination to draw the entire form, all the details, you know, as many details as you can, uh, capturing uh, value using line weight, thicker lines, darker lines, heavier pressure with your pencil to, gra to get the darker values, and then thinner, lighter, less pressure for the lighter values um, to outline like reflections and get details in. So pick an object, uh, set a timer for 30 minutes, try this out and see how it goes.